Good day, this is Brer Caleb, PhD, and this is my favorite place, a place of solace, a place of peace, a place where I would like to sit and just watch my koi. I used to have a big koi pond and when I was fanatic, but now I'm happy just to be in peace, not only with myself, but also with nature. What does that really mean? Some of us have complicated expectations of life. And I'm falling into the category that I still wonder what in the world is making us tick. You see, the beauty of reality is that we come to an understanding within ourselves. Yesterday I responded to somebody that said, Praise the Lord, I've got no more problems because I know Jesus. I am a person that used to work in the Jesus movement. So I'm very well exposed to the miracles, the tremendous changes in people's lives, the tremendous setbacks, those that didn't know what to make out of life because they were confused. And when I think that I have no more problems because I know Jesus, I have come to a point now in my life that I realize that is not true for me. Because I am an old merchant marine, a seaman. I was on the world seas and I traveled all over the world at wonderful times. Also saw some terrible things. But when you're in the middle of a storm, you don't think about Jesus, you just cry out, God help me. Because it is God Almighty who supports the Word of God. And through Jesus, He told us to follow the way, the truth, and the light. Now why is He saying that? And it has taken me 40 years plus 31 years of experience of that 40 years because I'm now 71 years of age and when I preached during the Jesus movement I was 17. Do you know what that means? I've made an awful lot of mistakes and one of the mistakes was falling flat on your face, not being perfect, being a screwball, being a sinner, being an asshole, if that is what you understand. But you know, I became a person that got wisdom. It doesn't matter who you are, which language you speak, and where you're coming from. But if you are walking and following the way of Yeshua HaMashiach, that was his name, because the name Jesus was interpreted by some kind of a Greek guy not by Paul, not by Jesua, and he, his name Jesus, was reinvented and calculated in 235 AD. So 235 years after Jesus was gone, actually 200 years approximately after he was gone, they came up with Christianity. But when Jesus came, Jesua, as most people don't know, Hamashiach, that is when the Lord fulfilled the law. Whoa, what is the law? The law is something that we don't want to hear about. But the beauty of God is, the law initiated by God Almighty was a way to show us how we could live a life and walk into the kingdom of God. Now, because we screwed up and we are so perfect that we screw everyone just to make a little bit more money, we missed the boat. And that is why I have a little thing here that I thought was interesting. Let me share it with you. Yes, I am so glad I belong to Jesus. That was the statement I saw yesterday on Facebook. And I can understand that statement because it is exciting to get to know somebody.
that really lives the life the way God wants us to live. But what they stated in that same statement of getting to know Jesus is there were no more hardships of life like sickness, poverty, disappointments, bad luck and setbacks. Because that is where Brad Caleb disagrees. Wisdom and love, peace, that is what Jesua promised. Because when we face the peace and when we get gain the peace of God Almighty, our Father, that is where we get to the level where we overcome and get wisdom how to overcome hardships, sickness, poverty, disappointments, bad luck and setbacks. Because my Father directs me. He guides me. He gives me wisdom. May I share something as an old fart to young people? Be open-minded. Don't be close-minded. Love your neighbor like yourself and share wisdom. Don't renege on your promises. Don't renege on your promises and stay a friend. Don't condemn. When someone has a hardship, open your heart, share your closet. If you have two jackets, give one. If you have food on your pantry and somebody has nothing to eat, share. And you know, we should learn to share and to live in peace and have that peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Then you will be following the way the truth and the light. God bless you. This is Brad Caleb, PhD, and that stands for Post Hole Dicker, because I continue to work on the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. God bless you. Bye for now.